Hi, my name is Joji Pantoja, and I'm the founder and CEO of Coffee for Peace. Our advocacy is to protect our environment, provide livelihood to our farmers, and to promote peace building in our land. Our vision for the farmers is to create farmerpreneur. So in essence, we are creating our own competitor because when they improve their harvest, when they improve their processes, and when they learn how to trade their coffee and roast their coffee and package their coffee, they would be able to sell in their own brand their coffee. And that's one of our dream for our coffee farmers. Next would be to promote our local coffee so that our local people would really buy and drink our local coffee. In that sense, we are promoting our local products and protecting our local economy. So we have the promotion of buy local, support local. And in Davao City, we have the champion of coffee farmers who are from Mount Apo. And these champions are graded by the Philippine Coffee Quality Competition. And for the next uh, month, there would be another competition. And we don't know, but most of those coffee farmers are from Mindanao. So three years in a row, our coffee farmers from Mount Apo have been consistently in the top 10 coffee producers. In 2006, Luis Daniel A. Pantoja and Georgie Pantoja began assisting in an informal conflict mediation process between specific migrant and Bangsamoro farming communities in Mindanao. This experience led to the idea of incorporating coffee as a key livelihood in their peace-building work, which eventually became Coffee for Peace. Coffee for Peace is an organization committed to empowering communities in Mindanao through coffee farming, educating farmers on coffee processing, packaging, and marketing, and partnering with other organizations to mobilize resources and provide training for indigenous peoples. They adopt an indigenous knowledge appropriation approach to emphasize the importance of collective efforts and community building in their business model.